What is up, y'all? I'm Andy Story, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm going to drop a little knowledge on you. I'm going to share a technique I have used in the past where we take a logo, add some blur, drop in some halftone, and then create our own halftone texture from scratch, add another little bit of grunge texture from Envato.com, and then put it all together into an amazing, awesome looking piece of logo art. <laughs> what? All right, let's rock and roll. First things first, go ahead and set yourself up a nice logo template. If you're curious what I use in the poster design industry, check out that video that I already created. What I've already done is created the logo part of the tutorial, and that's basically a type layer. So I typed out the word dope and used the font called Berthold Accidents Grotesque Extra Bold Condensed Italic. Go ahead and do the same thing or drop in a transparent logo that you would like to manipulate. Once you have your logo or type ready to rock and roll, go ahead and make a duplicate by hitting Command J. And then we're gonna turn that layer into a smart object by right clicking and going on down to convert to smart object. Now that layer that has the type, I'm just gonna put that down below our background layer and then turn it off. The other thing I do wanna mention is you're gonna to wanna to pick out some kind of a texture because we're gonna use the texture to kind of give it its uh, overall treatment towards the end. And what I did is I went to Envato.com where I have a yearly subscription and that subscription allows me to have unlimited downloads and licensed material to work professionally with. And they have stock photography, they have textures, they have video, stock video, they have graphics, and also some cool Photoshop plugins. Now, once you have everything ready to go, go ahead and hide that texture layer. And now we can start messing with our logo. Go ahead and click on that smart object layer, go on up to filter and then from filter go to blur gallery and then go to field blur and then once you're in field blur you should have this dial in front of you if you do not have that dial go ahead and hit command h on your keyboard and it will pop up this dial allows you to manipulate the strength of the blur and you can also move them around and position them strategically for where you want to have more blur and less blur and if you want to have a second one just go ahead and click and then start messing around with the amount of blur and lack of blur that you want. And once you're happy with your results, go to the top here and hit OK. Now more fun is about to be had. In order for the halftone filter effect to work, we're going to have to merge all of our layers. To do that, I use Shift, Option, Command, and E, and that'll basically take a snapshot and merge all of your layers. Once you have that layer, we can go ahead and add our halftone. So you can go up to Filter, Pixelate, color halftone and then on color halftone i already have my presets ready i have a max radius of 12 and all of the channels set to 35. feel free to exper experiment and you can see the different amounts of of halftone that are achieved though so i like what i see i have some really cool halftone effect but what i don't like is that that layer is already merged and i can't really drop this on top of another I don't know, poster or project that I'm working on. So we're gonna have to separate the logo from the background. And an easy way to do that is by going up to select color range. And then on color range, make sure your fuzziness is set to 200 and then just click with the eyedropper on the black elements of your logo hit okay. And then we're just gonna go down to solid color. And then on solid color, it automatically drops a mask for you. And then if you're already set on black, hit okay. Now we can just turn this layer into a smart object by right clicking and then convert to smart object. And now as you'll see, I have this very cool logo ready to go and move where I need to move it. If you all have learned anything up to this point, please hit that like button and feel free to subscribe 
because you're really gonna help this channel grow and that's what I wanna do is keep spreading the love of art and design. Now I wanna actually add a little bit of icing to the cake and add an overall treatment to this piece of artwork. To do that, I wanna add more halftone throughout the artwork itself. And one way to do that is by hitting Option on your keyboard, hold that down, and then go hit the plus symbol, the new layer plus symbol, and that's gonna bring up new layer, but we need to go to mode, overlay, and then hit fill with overlay neutral color 50%, and then hit okay. And this is gonna be an overall halftone layer that's going to have an effect over everything as you'll see very shortly. From here, we're gonna do the same exact thing by going up to filter, pixelate, color halftone. Our color halftone uh, presets are already gonna be the same, and I'm gonna hit okay. And now I'm gonna turn that overlay layer into normal, and as you can see, I already have this cool halftone effect. With that layer, we can do a bunch of cool stuff. But first, let's bring that texture layer down, go ahead and unhide it, and then we're going to hit Option, Command G, and attach that to our logo. And like that, we already have a pretty cool thing to work with, but I want to change the color. So I'm going to solid color. I'm going to do the same thing, hit OK, Option Command G, and change the color. And now you can play with the blending mode on this as well to see if it's something that you like. Now, I want to turn this into its full own art piece, and I should have done this before, but I'm going to take that texture layer, hit Command J, and then I'm just going to drop this down below our other layer and then reattach that color by hitting option command G. And then on that bottom layer, uh, we have something to kind of work with. But if I wanted to just kind of turn this into its own thing with texture, I can always export that as well. So now that I have that background layer set to as a texture, now we can go back up to the halftone layer and then play with the blending mode. So soft overlay is cool, and then you can either mess with the fill or the opacity to kind of drop. And then let's go ahead and play with the colors and see what works for this particular project. And then I just dropped a curve on top to kind of brighten things up. And then you can also drop a curve on your logo layer to kind of see how you want it to play to to look, do you want it darker or do you want it lighter? And so you, there's so many different things you can do according to the project you're working on. And then if you really wanna get funky and just kinda of see how this is going to look with different colors, go to Gradient Map and then on Gradient Map you can start messing around with different color alts, whatever you need. So keep going until you find something you like and hopefully you like this video and drop the like to help us out.